All right, so I have decided to do a US Marine fitness test every single day for the next three weeks. <laughs> and I just get bitten in my feet of my dog. Okay, so a US Marine fitness test. And that means that for the next three weeks, every day, I'm gonna cycle down to the outdoor gym we have here. I'm gonna do as many pull-ups as possible. I'm gonna do as many crunches as possible. I'm also gonna do as many push-ups as possible, even though it's not part of the test, but I still want to do it. And then I'm gonna take a three mile run, which equals 4.83 kilometers. Um, and yeah, I'm gonna do that every single day and I'm, it's gonna be interesting to look at how my body adapts and yeah, also mental wise if there are any changes. And yeah, I'm, I'm really looking forward to it and yeah, I'm, I'm excited. Gonna be awesome. <laughs> I can see that I'm getting better and better every day concerning running but I don't see the same um, progress in the pull-ups, push-ups and crunches it's like my upper body needs more time than my legs so yeah, I'm not quite sure what to do about that however, today is day 7 so I have done it 7 days in a row and I think we should wrap it up for the first week and look at the results so I'm gonna get home and I'm gonna draw a table, I guess, and then we can look at the results. Yeah, so that's what I'm gonna do. Maybe I'm gonna swim before that on the way home. That would be nice as well. Let's see. Oh my goodness, it just flushes out everything. Oh, do, 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 do. Yeah, such a moral booster. But now I'm gonna get home and eat. <laughs> All right, guys, so I'm back home. Um, it's actually already night, but I have drawn four tables for every discipline and I want to briefly go through it and the implications for my next two weeks. So looking at pull-ups, um, there it's actually quite consistent once I got up to 12, but then I also fell back to 10. So I think 10 is probably like the average I'm doing right now. Um, but I feel every day I'm doing it that doing it every single day just you know exhausts me and uh, I feel like I need one day in between the second table is uh, crunches the crunches is like the weirdest exercise for me it looks like um, so the, the the lines you see they show the passing amount and the top line shows the maximum amount where you would get 100 points and I'm not even at the passing amount for the first five days. And I think probably the reason is because I had nobody to hold my feet. And when I asked my girlfriend to hold my feet on um, day six and seven, 
I got up to the passing amount, which was also the the first two days where I could finally calculate a, a score, um, which I will blend in right now. I have calculated the, sto the, the score for day six. Um, you see on the screen now the, the score and for day seven, you see on the screen now the score. So for the next two weeks, I will obviously ask my girlfriend again to hold my feet, just that I'm um, competitive kind of, because if I'm tucking my feet under beneath something, it's just not the same. Um, the next table is push-ups. So as I already have told you, you don't need push-ups is actually not a part of the fitness test but you could choose to do push-ups instead of pull-ups but then you can't reach the maximum amount of 300 points technically um, push-ups I'm actually quite weak I mean I'm nowhere near the 87 um, push-ups I'm more around 45 um, day 5 and 6 I got up to 50 and then I dropped back to 40 again showing that I just need the resting time and the last table is running and it, that's actually the, the best exercise for, exercise for me and it's also the the um, only exercise where I can see that I'm consistently getting better like probably every single day I mean day two was my slowest day but it also was um, the windiest so yeah and on day five six and seven just was really really good um, so I can see that in my running I don't really need as much um, regenerating time than in my and than in the three other um, exercises however to wrap this up I have decided to do for the next week I will do the fitness test and every second day I will do stretching and handstands why handstands? Just because I like it. So I'm gonna do fitness test, stretching handstand, fitness test, stretching handstand, bop, 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 for the next seven days. And then probably after the after the next seven days, I will wrap it up again and look at the data and what it shows me. And that's it. I yeah, just let's do it. That was it for today. I had a really nice yoga session and some nice handstands. So yeah, I'm happy and I feel that it's really nice having one day of a break and not doing the fitness test every single day. So that's cool. And yeah, now I'm gonna eat. See you tomorrow. <laughs> running I would say um, I constantly feel improvement kind of um, and concerning the push-ups pull-ups and crunches I'm actually at a quite even level so that shows me that um, that's a good idea to have one day of a break Woo, that was refreshing so it took me 21 minutes and 43 seconds for the three miles and yeah I'm I'm really happy. Uh, 
um, and I think there's just one one right thing to do after such a run. See ya. Alright, um, so I'm back home and I'm officially done with the challenge, so I guess you want to know how it went and that's what we are going to talk about now. Alright guys, so I'm back at the chair and yeah, uh, the challenge is over, which is crazy, like it was hard, it was difficult, it was nice, it was cool, Ooh many things um, but the question is did something change in my performance probably that's what you're gonna ask yourself and yes there is uh, a change in the performance i actually calculated the means of week one and week two plus three so i didn't draw a table because that would be too much but i did calculate the means to see if there's a change between week one and two and three because in week one i had no breaks in between and in two weeks, weeks two and three I had always one day of a break where I did stretching and handstands. So how how did that impact my my performance? So the, the mean of pull-ups in the first week is 10 and in the week two and three is 11. So there is an increase of one pull-up which doesn't sound like much but it's still like it's one pull-up which is 10% of an increase because 10 to start with is not a, a huge number. Then we have crunches. Week one, the average is 59 and week two plus three is 76, which is an increase of 17 crunches, which is good. I'm, I'm, I'm generally happy with that. Um, the average of push-ups in week one is 45 and in week two plus three is 50, which amounts to an increase of five push-ups and uh, the running time in week one in average is 23 minutes and six seconds and in week two plus three in average is 22 minutes which means that i was running one minute and six seconds faster in week in week two and three opposed to week one so there is definitely some physical changes or like performance wise changes um, which i'm definitely happy with um, to be honest, I thought I would be able to do more and be faster, um, which didn't happen. And there was not as much of development as I thought there would be. But I think it's really important to keep in mind that, you know, we can be obsessed with numbers and, and performance and stuff like that. But it's really important to be thankful, just being thankful for yourself, being thankful for that you show up and do something for your mind, for your body, that you have this opportunity to try things, to, to move, to be happy. And that's definitely something I want to remind myself of, which um, got clearer through this challenge, that I'm thankful for being able to move and being able to, to challenge myself. And yeah, and even if it doesn't go the way you want it, just I think it's a really good idea to accept it, still be thankful and just uh, keep on doing things and just keep on challenging yourself and creating and stuff like that. Uh, one last thing I want to mention is the change in my mental stage. Um, there's definitely some changes that I felt it's easier to get up in the morning, it's easier to be motivated and I was more energized, which was definitely something I aimed for. I wanted to gain some kind of momentum through this challenge. I wanted to gain like this habit of moving and and being a bit more uplift and a bit more excited because in, in the in the last half a year of 2020 it was hard to motivate myself. So this was a tr my um, try to like challenged it and to you know get back on track which definitely uh helped and i'm i'm 
more happy about moving and in general and more energized and yeah which means i strongly advise you to try something yourself just move somehow do something it doesn't have to be like that challenge it doesn't have to be something specific i would just uh, challenge you maybe to to move yourself and just to get out and be thankful for what you're doing yeah so that's it thank you very much for watching i guess that's a it's a long video um, so I'm, I really appreciate that you sticked around and uh, yeah, see you in the next video. Bye -bye.